Here's an update to our 1968 New Old Stock Packard Bell Test Project Science Experiment set. This is an ongoing um, video series on putting this New Old Stock set into uh, just daily use as a daily driver, and we put it in we put it into service on October 1st, 22, and today is. Uh, October 30th 22 so it lasted four weeks so the report is when it died the picture just got real fuzzy and kind of went out and uh, I came in and turned it on and yeah it's just it's like the high voltage isn't coming up so maybe the cathode fuse blew on the uh, horizontal output, maybe the flyback failed. These lying ads attacking Katie Porter. Orange County hates being lied to. And, and it just doesn't, it just stays dark. So let's get it open and look at the hour meter and this this will be the first failure uh, this will be the first failure so up until this point there's been literally nothing has gone wrong with this in a whole month which I was a bit surprised at and, and yeah it died at the most inopportune time a Sunday evening so let's see how many hours we did uh, Is that 439 hours and 62 minutes? Is that how that, or 60, 62 seconds, yeah. Let's see, let me turn it on. 53 of them are dead tonight, 37 more in critical condition. The revelers were coming by the thousands from each side, down below here and from both sides up above, and this alley it's just 14 feet this doesn't wide. make a lot of sense. For anyone to go. 439 oh hours. Right in the middle of the crush. Oh my God, oh my God. 63 oh minutes. Yeah, that doesn't quite work, does it? In decades. I just saw. All right, the cathode fuse is blown. I'm measuring the voltage across it. Uh, I'm not sure I understand this. Maybe I should have looked into that. But I believe that is 439 hours. That would make sense. That would be about 14 and 14 and a half hours a day that it runs. So that that would make sense. So that first fault is at 439 hours, I believe. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wait for that capacitor to discharge. And I'm going to go here and we're going to look at the... Uh, cathode current anti-semitic messages seen at multiple locations across the city just last week similar messages appearing above the busy 405 freeway in Los Angeles looks like it came up already there it is high. more than 2700 cases of assault harassment and vandalism in 2021 up 34% from 2020 concern growing among the Jewish community tonight the more that anti-semitism or any form of hate is normalized the more that extremists get emboldened by it and frankly the more danger there is to the community so is that it is it just a Georgia and Florida say they let's go down here and watch the milliamps did the cathode fuse just fail Tonight, a warning for parents. This Halloween coincides with a troubling rise in respiratory illnesses, including the flu and RSV and the expected fall increase in COVID cases. ABC's Phil Lipoff with what parents need to know. Tonight, increasing concern... Try an experiment, because she said it went fuzzy if I disconnect this. ...across the country. Nationwide hospitalizations for the flu at the highest level in a decade. The impact early... And severe. That's interesting. I'm concerned with our hospital's ability to deal with a flu surge. The CDC reports close to 900,000 cases of lab-confirmed influenza, 7,000 hospitalizations, and close to 400 deaths nationally. 
the dominant virus strain so far H3N2. So does it keep does it get some high does it make some high voltage via the uh, the capacitor concerning with the continuing pediatric surge of respiratory illnesses like RSV filling up 75%. I don't want to pop my meter. It might actually keep making some high voltage because the capacitor might act as a AC short. Well, let's let it run a minute and watch the cathode current. I don't know why the, the cathode fuse would last almost 500 hours and then crap out. And get the flu shot. Doctors say the best time to get the flu shot, Lindsay, is before November. Some good advice there, Phil. Thank you. Developing overseas tragedy unfolding in India after a 100-year-old pedestrian bridge collapsed earlier today. Hundreds plunging. 185 in mills. That looks good. People are dead. Dozens of others were hurt and trapped. The Colonial Era Bridge had just reopened after a renovation four days ago. Celebrating here in Sao Paulo after Brazilian election authorities have announced that former President Lula da Silva has once again captured the Brazilian presidency. He beat out current President Jair Bolsonaro in what became a very close race. The question now, will there be any sort of political violence? President Bolsonaro throughout his campaign suggested he might not accept these election results were he to lose. Yeah, well, now China's just going to own Brazil. Sorry, Brazil. They just... ...taken yet another serious turn. Russia has resumed its blockade of Ukrainian ports after a series of attacks on Russian military ships off the coast of Crimea. These videos are... They just kind of tweaked that one and pushed it through also. ...grain cannot sail to parts of the world wracked by famine. President Biden called Russia's action outrageous. And there's so much more ahead on World News tonight. This Sunday, a terrifying scene for passengers aboard a flight in India after a plane catches fire on the runway during takeoff. Well, of course, what else would you expect? Okay, I replaced the fuse. That's a 250 milliamp fuse. So there's no reason that should have blown after 450 hours. I don't know if something intermittently shorted, that's what the fuse is there for. If something, the reason why I put the fuse there is to protect mainly from a fire if something was to intermittently fail. So that's a new 250 milliamp fuse, which I don't know, according to the spec sheet, it should hold that indefinitely. So. We'll just have to let it run, and I won't release this video for a while, and we'll see. Maybe it. Maybe I need to go up to a 300. You know, if this, if this one lasts another 450 hours, then we know that it's undersized. So that's the first update on the 1968 Packard Bell. It's, it's doing better than I expected. See the twitching? There might there might actually be another problem here that caused a few. See that? Allow the kids to dress up, but there's also a lot of concern about safety as everyone gets ready for the big night. Yes, I need my fentanyl flavored candy snack treats. Dress for Halloween fun and dancing in the street. Dozens of children and families spending the afternoon at Spooky Sunday in the Hancock Park area. The organization, Big Sunday, bringing together... There's some random twitching I saw, and it comes and goes. But this thing was super stable before this. It is Sunday, so it's a kind of a day that we can all do it together as a family, and it's fun, as you can see. They're having a blast. For me, it's her exposure to different... Uh, Got to just let it run and see if it pops the fuse again in short order. The set had been running for 12 hours when the fuse failed, so it did not happen on power up. Looks like it's going to hold on. It hasn't popped it, and it's been an hour or so. Maybe the fuse is just undersized.